Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I'm making $150 a month right now on YouTube in completely passive income. Now I know most of my videos are about Amazon, Amazon FBA and e-commerce, and this is all related. Um, so I'm gonna be kind of showing you or just like talking to you a little bit about YouTube for once instead of directly e-commerce, but I am going to loop it around and it's going to come kind of full circle in the Amazon FBA. So if you're interested in either topic, make sure you stick around to the end. So if you guys don't know, my name is Lamar. I started this YouTube channel uh, probably about a year and a half ago and you know, I have about 3,600 followers on YouTube right now, depending on when you're watching this video. I think that's okay results, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I would say that it's it's average results. Um, I'm, I am making about $150 off of ads. You know, as you guys are watching this video, there's ads that are popping up, and when you watch those ads, I get like a couple pennies off of each one that's watched or whatnot. So I'm making about $150 right now. And I would probably say that that's just average, average results. Granted, I have produced about maybe 70 videos on the channel to date. I've been trying to be, you know, pretty consistent and post about one video every single week. And you know, that's, that's shown in about 70 different videos that I have up over the past year and a half. But my point here is that I don't think my channel is by any means like above average. There's other people out in the space that, you know, have had their channel for less time than me and have like 20,000, 30,000 followers on YouTube already. And I'm just trying to make the point here that my channel is average and the results or the revenue that I'm generating from my YouTube channel is average because I want you to think of it as a baseline. You were to go out there and start an opportunity, whether that's YouTube or Amazon FBA, and you were able to achieve average results, what that would kind of look like. So I'm just sharing with you guys my average results on YouTube, which has stemmed out of the opportunity from Amazon FBA. Before we dig too deep into this topic though here, I already went on like a, a little rant there. I wanted to make sure though, that you guys have clicked that subscribe button, you give me a thumbs up on the video, and you drop a comment below that says Amazon FBA. And if you do all three of those things, I'm gonna be giving out um, an hour of consulting services, if you wanna call it that. I'll talk to one of you on the phone, I'm just gonna pick randomly, and I'll talk to you about Amazon FBA, whatever you wanna talk about, whether this product research, helping you select a product, talking about um, Amazon PPC, whatever it is that you want. If you do those three things for me, subscribe, like, comment below, I'll hit you up down there and I'll pick one lucky winner and we'll be able to kind of have a phone conversation and I'll help you out with your business wherever it is. So going back here to, you know, so going back and just thinking about this kind of an opportunity for yourself. So now let's step back and just like talk to, so now let's step back and just like examine this opportunity, you know, whether it's $150 on YouTube or whether it's generating, you know, $1,000 a month on Amazon from, you know, FBA, it, it doesn't really matter to an extent. What matters is that you're consistently showing up. So whether you choose, you know, Amazon FBA or to build out your website or to learn Facebook ads or to, you know, start a YouTube channel, it, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you consistently show up, that you consistently take action towards the objective. Being consistent is what is going to allow you to quote unquote achieve average results, right? Just by showing up, just by putting in the work, just continuing along a path, a proven path that you know that works. Amazon FBA is a great model because you can just follow a path. You can just kind of continue down this path. You know that it works. You've seen many other people follow the same path. So if you just do the same thing, if you keep showing up, if you just take one step after the other, you can achieve average results at a minimum, 
right? Now let's say, for example, that whatever it is, the universe, you know, connects differently with you or connects differently with your product, or maybe, you know, your product gets picked up in a magazine or for whatever reason, your product goes, you know, viral on social media. There's all these different things out there that could potentially happen that catapult you into above average results. You just need to prepare yourself, keep showing up, and I'm telling you that eventually those above average results will come. If you're there, you're in the right place at the right time, you've been putting in that consistent work and effort, the universe will come and is going to give you something that will catapult you to the next level. I don't know what that is, it's different for everybody, but it's just that when you put in the hard work and you put in that consistent effort, it pays you back. And my YouTube channel here all started with Amazon FBA. You know, that was my first kind of foot into entrepreneurship. I started my e-commerce business on Amazon FBA. And now I've started, you know, a YouTube channel talking about my experience, sharing with you guys the strategies that are working with me so that you can go out there and replicate my success. This is exactly why my channel exists today and I'm very grateful for you all and I'm very grateful to everybody out there who's already subscribed to the channel. Um, but you know, the YouTube channel wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't started my Amazon FBA business. And that was just a result, the Amazon FBA business, and the results that I've been able to achieve with the Amazon FBA have just been a result of me showing up consistently, day after day, week after week. And I'm doing the same thing here with YouTube now. And that's why I'm just such a huge proponent of Amazon FBA, because there are so many opportunities. There are so many things that can come from Amazon once you start, once you get that first product out into the market, once you get that real customer feedback, once you're in the process, you're, you're, you're deep in Amazon FBA, you're gonna see like tens, hundreds of other opportunities as you continue down this process. Everything from other service businesses to softwares, to you know YouTube channels, to like different things that can come from the entrepreneurial journey of just starting with Amazon FBA. I mean, there's just so much opportunity in Amazon FBA and e-commerce in general. It's just amazing to me the different opportunities that continue to appear as you know I and you know other people in my circle continue down this uh, this journey of you know building an e-commerce business and then diversifying from there. So by starting with Amazon FBA, I think you'll be really surprised to see what comes from there. Maybe you know the niche, the category that you're in, there's really bad content out there and that presents an opportunity for you to start a YouTube channel about your niche category that you're selling a product in. Or maybe you need like more content or a blog or you know a, a, a social media site that has some unique angle on it and like complements your product as well. There's so many different ways to make money online now. You just need to start. You just need to take that initial step, consistently show up, and the universe will continue to provide opportunities for you. And then it's your ability as the entrepreneur to select which one of those opportunities is worth pursuing and then maximizing kind of the, the potential of that opportunity but it all comes back to just consistently showing up and taking action and the pieces will fall together. That's why I'm such a huge proponent of Amazon FBA. I think it's a great um, learning kind of environment for an entrepreneur to get started, start making some extra money, a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars a month, then analyze the overall situation. I have these skill sets now. Do I wanna apply them somewhere else? Do I wanna just continue to double down on Amazon FBA? I mean, the, the opportunity once you've started just continues to compound, much like this YouTube channel is now, you know, kind of starting to compound for me. You know, I'm making $150 a month. You know, maybe, you know, next year I'm making $300 a month. And, you know, now that's substantial. So, you know, an extra $300 a month in passive income, you know, I'd be really happy with. Even $150 is like, 
is amazing, you know? So you just never know what's gonna come from this opportunity and just consistently showing up over and over. Anyways, I don't wanna beat a dead horse here with the consistent thing, with the consistency thing and showing up over and over, but I'll see you guys on the next video and go out there, crush it on Amazon and the opportunities will come. I'll see you next time guys, peace.